love Ranga. I'm glad that uh, I've seen you factor in most of the corrections that I have told you. Just one thing I wanted to note is the, on the headings, that is where we still have a big issue. And then the conclusion. So I wanted to teach you how to use the Google Docs so that next time you send me your article, you just put it on Google Docs and share the link with me. So once you open your Chrome browser, of course this is what will display. Then you come and select on the nine dots, as I had told you on the brief. You come and pick drive from the nine dots. After drive opens, you come and select new. And from new, you can choose whether you want to upload a file, a folder. You want to create a new Google document, a Google sheet, a Google slide form. Or whatever so we want to create a document we'll select on document and once we select uh, the document you can either decide to write on google docs or uh, you write on word finish all the corrections then paste your work here on google docs but I prefer writing on Google Docs because you can also write when you're offline. So you just come here and you pick your... You pick, so you go and take your, your title. The title, you write your, the title to your document. Let's paste it. So that is our title and the first title to update your title easily in this section you just click on that untitled untitled section just click it you see it's untitled document but uh, once i have a title the first line and i decide to place my cursor anywhere on that line and i select on title it will automatically update the title yeah once you're done with that i'm assuming you write the article so i'm just going to copy your entire article and paste it there i'm sorry Let me unbold first. Yeah, so we have our article ready. And then let us check if you formatted it correctly the way you wanted. Okay, you are supposed, you should not write uh, chunks of text. Uh, you're supposed to break it into small paragraphs. Uh, like the, for example, like the samples I sent you, they were broken into small chunks, so we can break here. I think that would not make sense. Let us break here. Where, where, where? Here. Let us break from here. Yeah. You should try to have at least uh, three lines of text. Then you go to the next paragraph. Three, three, three. Your paragraphs should be around three lines. Three lines. Yes. Three lines. Yeah. You should try to, to ensure that they are around three lines. Then formatting of the formatting of the titles is the one we had an issue. So the first title I told you it's H1 or heading one. So you come and place your cursor anywhere on that title. Or uh, you can select the entire text, but I just prefer to place my cursor anywhere on the title. Then you come here where it's written normal text and you press there. A drop down will appear. Then you come and select H1 because this is the first heading of your article. As you can see, it has updated the heading appropriately. Then you come and select. We want it to, to be bold, unless the client has told you to leave it. Uh, and bolded then uh, 
you come after heading one, the second, any other headings that appear will be of a lower rank, that is H2, H3 and so forth. You can't have two H1s on the same article. So this will be heading two. You can't jump from heading one to heading three. So this will be heading two. This will be heading two. Yes. And uh, this is the first tip eh, to becoming an excellent writer. And uh, reading is also another tip of becoming an excellent writer. So it becomes uh, H2 again. H2. H2. Once you put the heading, there will be an automatic space between uh, the last paragraph and that heading. So you don't need to include the, the space. As you can see, once I I just there is no space between the last line of uh, reading and uh, practice the topic. So I just place my cursor there and I update it to H2 appropriate appropriate. And uh, you want to ensure that not all of the headings in your article are H2s. For example, here you have research, and maybe under research you also have other topics. Let's say. I'm just giving you an example. This section was uh, quantitative research. Let's say that section was quantitative research. So you can write quantitative research. Quantitative research. And let's say this other section was qualitative research. Yes. Let us remove this press here first. Yeah, so maybe this was at, uh, another subtopic under research. So this is a H2, uh, this is a H2. Reading and uh, research are uh, two tips of becoming a good writer. But under research, we have two subtopics. That is qualitative research and quantitative research. They don't have the same rank as reading or researching. They are under research. So they become H3s. After H2, there is a H3. So this is H3. And this one is a H3 as well. Because qualitative research and quantitative research, they are types of research. So they will take the same rank. I hope you have understood that one. So we can just delete because that was just an illustration. It's, it's not the correct, the correct information. So, using external goods, that is also another H2. It has the same rank as reading and uh, researching and practicing. So it's a H2. It's a H2. You can also have um, Paragraphs that are just uh, one state, one one line, provided uh, they they elaborate the they elaborate what you want to put across adequately. When they are on their own, it's just okay to have them as one sentence in the paragraph. So that one has the same rank as uh, the other tips of becoming an excellent writer. Then. Your conclusion with the information, I am sure that uh, your following content will be credi credible and uh, captivating. You should uh, try to ensure that your conclusion is uh, a little bigger. We need at least um, 50, 50, 50 words, uh, 50 words on your conclusion. We need them to be at least 50 words. Then you also have to indicate that it's a conclusion. Unless you're writing a report about sports or something, maybe Ronaldo's transfer to Manchester United, something of the sort. And conclusion has the same rank as uh, the other tips that you talked about in the article, researching, reading, practicing, because you can't put it under be being simple or uh, being unique. You can't put it under any of these topics it's just under the main the main theme of the article which is the tips of becoming an excellent writer so it it also takes heading two yeah so you just ensure that you are your what your conclusion or uh, the final verdict or uh, the wrap-up section or the verdict 
whatever you want to call it, but ensure you have at least a title there. Final thoughts, something of the sort. Ensure you have it and you should have around 50 words or so as your conclusion. Then one more thing I noticed, some of, your, some of the clients usually have a table of contents. So when you have something like uh, this, when you have something like this, uh, and you are going to talk about those topics and you also have a table of contents, it, just, it doesn't look nice. So you should just eliminate this section. Eliminate this section, then you can just have a short, uh, a short phrase, a short uh, statement that is assessing to the content, for example. Uh, by reading this excerpt, you will gain confidence and credibility in your script simply by following the guidelines. Then you can have something like uh, typing. Yeah, you can have something like that. Huh? Then we put, we put an exclamation mark. Yeah, you can have something like that. Then you just start uh, talking about your your content. Then let's avoid uh, this uh, I dot I I. We should just have the bullets. Bullets are better. Bullets are better in this section, so we can delete the the eyes. We can delete the the Roman letters. Just have bullets. That is better. Then you can you can break this appropriately into the smaller sections. Then one more thing on your introduction you have. Have you ever wondered how to achieve good writing, and or could you be looking for a way to uh, for a way to better your writing? I don't know what you wrote on your is it easy to okay i think you changed your introduction but uh, there is still something that is uh, not right here so have you ever wondered how to achieve good writing okay someone who's wondering how to achieve good writing is probably looking for tips of becoming a writer then or could you be looking for a way to better your writing if you're looking for a way to better your writing and uh, you're wondering how to achieve good writing they are almost uh, uh, relaying the same message so we can delete one of these statements so that we have just uh, have you ever wondered how to achieve good writing yeah so then have you ever wondered how to achieve good writing remember that the topic of your article is excellent tips of becoming a good writer. Someone who is clicking this search query already wants to uh, wants tips on becoming a good writer. So once you say that, have you ever wondered how to achieve good writing? It creates the 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 da the the, the da feeling. So what? What else? What else do you have to tell me? Like the statement is not adding value to the reader. You want to ensure that any statement that you are writing in your article adds value to the reader. And once you begin your article and you are talking about, have you ever wondered how to achieve good writing? Of course, someone who is clicking excellent tips of becoming a good writer wants the tips to be to achieve good writing. So we can eliminate that statement. It's not adding value to the reader you want to ensure that everything is beneficial to the reader then i think we can do a little better you can look for more introductions because we are still not not just there with the introduction for example you're saying we all have a way that we reach perfection and we fall prey to our likes this article de dedicates to solving these questions it brings equilibrium to your story and some basic rules of writing. By reading this excerpt, you will gain confidence and credibility in your script simply by following the guidelines. You see, this is fluff. We can eliminate that last bit and still relay, relay what we wanted to. Relay what we wanted to. 
So you have to ensure that everything that you're writing is adding value. That is just what I wanted to share with you. Once you finish the video, let me know so that we can continue on the next bits. Have a good night.